guys, welcome to my channel. So today I've been watching a lot of uh, Draw With Jassa videos and I did like an art challenge like this before when I was doing my copy mar markers tryout video. Draw With Jazza has this app called um, Arty Party and basically it generates different things so you could do like character challenge um, and you can do like two minute challenges or five minutes or whatever if you want to change them more often. But then you get like a description, like here it says a, a demolitionist wearing a ninja mask fighting a house pet. Um, and then you could like generate different characters. Uh, a punk that is searching for a divine object with a bionic body part. Like fun stuff like this. Uh, I tried it out once, but I'm not really good at it. But I thought that maybe I'd just like chill out, you know, take it easy and do one today. The one that I got was... So I took a screenshot of it and I took the first one I got and that was... A hipster that lo loves explosives who's wearing an elegant cloak of stars. This is my sketch. I'm not really good with like character designs and such. And I also bought these like Staedtler fine liners recently and thought maybe I'd try them out. So basically you just wish me luck and we'll see how this goes. So I'm actually doing this voiceover kind of at a later time um, in my life. I think I did this video and this drawing maybe more than a month ago. Obviously my drawing isn't very good, but I don't want to let that stop me from actually being able to post stuff on YouTube. And since you guys can see basically everything that's happening and you can just watch my process and enjoy it, I think it's pretty relaxing to watch like a state speed paint. I thought maybe I'd talk a little bit about how I've been feeling lately and kind of open up with you guys about that. So I think I've been on like a little bit of a social high lately because I'm the type of person who easily can lock myself in my room, do my creative stuff and kind of just get on with my life and be happy if I'd like to. And sometimes it's a risk going out, meeting people and just being social because it's like a 50-50 if I'm gonna feel better from being with the people or if I'm not and it depends on who I'm with and also how I'm feeling, where I am in my life. I've been very social lately because I've been having a lot of dance performances. Competition and loads of dance related stuff uh, where I've been hanging out with the people in my dance group and I think they're all great and I love them and it's just it's a lot of fun but being social is a lot of effort for me and it takes a lot of energy and it just makes me really really tired. And so now I think uh, my body and my mind has kind of had enough and I'm just so exhausted and I don't want to leave my house and I don't want to meet anyone and I have no creative energy whatsoever and I love making YouTube videos and I just love doing it but today I just felt like uh, my body and my mind was just like don't want to do anything and I don't feel creative possible to do anything and it's not like I'm sad I'm just like extremely exhausted and it's funny because people don't understand that you can be extremely exhausted from basically just hanging out with like a little bit of people but for me it's just so much effort like just being in a crowd or with other people and like stressful situations it just breaks me down so quickly like times like this it's very easy to be hard on yourself and get down and just think to yourself like just i don't want everyone to go to my house again i suck why can't i do anything that everyone else can like i love to be social but when i've been away for so long it's just really really difficult actually and i don't think people really talk about that too much I'm just trying to keep my spirits up at the moment because I'm not really like depressed or anything. So I just don't want to go down that path and I'm just trying to do what's best for me. And so I've been watching a lot of Netflix and usually I'd read, but I don't really have the energy to read a lot either because it takes a lot of effort more than I actually realized before. And so I've been watching a lot of Netflix. I've been watching um, Dear White People and it's I'm actually loving it. I think it's really funny and I think it makes a really good point. And obviously there's some stuff about the show that I don't agree with, but I do really recommend it. I've also been watching Jane the Virgin, which I did watch before, and RuPaul's Drag Race. And honestly, guys, if you have not watched RuPaul's Drag Race, or if you've seen season 9, like, oh my god, just comment below. <laughs> because it gets me so excited and makes me so sad that I can't, like, uh, binge watch it. But, you know life's hard so but something has struck me as kind of odd why is it that when we're tired it's so easy to go to the sad thoughts why is it so easy to retreat 
to being just getting down on yourself? Why doesn't the mind just retreat to thinking happy thoughts when you're sad? Why is it easier to think sad thoughts instead of happy thoughts when you are tired? I don't know why the mind works like that, and I don't really know why, but I've never really seen anyone you know retreat to being happy without actually having a reason or something making them happy or comfortably tiredly happy which is also a thing hopefully you guys enjoy this ramble and let's get talking about the picture now <laughs> so guys i am done with my teeny little fun artwork i haven't really planted this video it was just kind of spontaneous i really like the way it looked i am not good at drawing faces and eyes especially when they're like tiny i'm good at it when they're like big but when they're tiny it's just hard I had really fun with this and this is a hipster that loves explosives and is wearing an elegant cloak of stars. I like, like the concept, I like her just like carrying around these explosives and like the missile and stuff. I thought this was fun, I really like the app, please go and check it out. And you can also check out my old characterization video where I try out copy markers. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!